Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. Which right now is just this puzzle's curse. So I'm not gonna try to do this, uh, this right now. There's something I'm missing as far as what I'm supposed to, the actual word I'm supposed to spell. Maybe I could talk to the guy and see. Um, there's no T, so I couldn't spell. The is stuck. Hmm. And I am very grateful. But the sign still looks pretty terrible, doesn't it? When Let's you're building see. a brand from the ground up, name is everything. I need a name that makes my customers long for adventure and treasures from faraway places. Hmm. So let's ask him about himself and then ask him about the sign. Maybe we can get a hint. Tell me about your business idea. This stall is going to put me through college while giving me field experience. But the nonsense sign is working against me. It should spell a name for my shop. I need something original, yet familiar, bright and in your face, yet subtle and symbolic. I could take a look at your sign, come up with something. Hmm. You are like a genie from a magic lamp. I decided to keep the wire. Hmm. If Basam knew how flimsy the sign was, he wouldn't be happy. So I don't want to ask these other questions. The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Bottle stoppers, keychains, musical cards. Hmm. So, Aladdin? Let's see, can we spell Aladdin? Ah, that's a bigger question than you might think, because I don't know if I can spell Aladdin. Hmm. Hmm. Aladdin. Let's see if this is it. Saladin. Hmm. Maybe it's Aladdin with an E. Hmm. I feel like it should be two L's. Honestly. Maybe it's Aladdin's. Aladdin's. That sounded almost ideal. Except there was only one Basan. Hmm. Hmm. So, is that right or is that wrong? Let's ask him. Let's see if he's happy with that. At least the sign's not buzzing anymore. I know and I do appreciate it, but now it just spells nonsense. And as it says in all the books, branding is key. If only hmm. it spelled out a whole new world, that would send my business sorry. Hmm. I was just going to skip this, but I, I, at the very least. Oh, why did it reset? Let's see. Saladin. I don't think there's enough. I don't think there's enough here. T. 
to spell this right. Saladin, conqueror of Jerusalem. Hmm. Wouldn't give quite the right image. <laughs> so I got Aladdin. I got Aladdin. I got Saladin. Um. Who? What am I supposed to be spelling here? Yeah. It's either figure out the word on your own or or come back and I think I'll just come back uh, maybe we could call Nicole maybe while we're here let's see ah! help what's wrong there's a cockroach what where on the floor get rid of it oh the cockroach Yes, hmm. the cockroach. Help! Grab him. We'll use him later, I'm sure. Pick him up and keep him in your inventory. Come here, little fella. So do I pick it up, or do I look at the crumbs? There were crumbs on the floor. No wonder the cockroach was sticking around. Hmm. And then interesting tile work. Oh, the toilet on the crumbs. I refused to torture the little fella. Even cockroaches have rights. Alright, let's just pick him up. I was never going to catch it with my bare hands. Let's use this. I needed a better idea. Hmm. Chop off his head real quick. Just step on him. That wasn't worth trying. That would have violated the Chemical Weapons Convention. Hmm. I needed a better idea. And there's nothing else here. Man, this is too difficult a puzzle for that a simple cockroach. Let's call Nicole. Help me, Nicole. It wasn't the best time to call, Nico. I swear there's nothing here. I think cockroaches are kind of cute. But only kind of. Hmm. Stretch goal. So, stretch goals were a thing in Kickstarter. And for, being, for the game being overfunded and getting more money than they asked for, they got... In total, over eight hundred thousand dollars. They asked for four hundred thousand dollars. So, I imagine this is a puzzle or something. But did it not get filled, or is there something more to it there that was a huge to do? Cockroach in the way. The place looked very much like temporary accommodation. Hmm. Let's look at the table and see if we can get something. We can take the cigarette Roman pack. Mouse. A Russian brand cigarette. The pack was empty. We can get the matches. As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches. But I never could resist. We could get the ashtray. The ashtray was full of cigarette butts. The filters were gold colored. Very exotic. Hmm. I guess nothing else here. What was the name of the cigarette pack? Crumpled cigarette pack. A crumpled cigarette pack. Hmm. Phone, radio. Leave that radio alone and sort this damn cockroach. Hmm. So unless I'm supposed to put the cockroach in the matchbox, I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. Am I going to make a little trap for it? Matchbox with the crumbs. The plan started to form in my mind, but I would need the matchbox to be empty. I tipped out the matches. Hmm. So they help, helped me out there. Empty matchbox with the crumbs. I set down my matchbox. Cockroaches like hiding in dark places. 
Not a bad idea when you think about it. Hmm. Hmm. Cockroach wasn't going for it. They needed some bait. Well, what kind of bait? I refused to torture the little fella. Even hmm. cockroaches have rights. So do I need some kind of food? Because I can't do anything with the crumbs now. Nail clippings? That wouldn't work. Let's see. That wouldn't have worked. Let's see. Matches? That wouldn't make any sense. I could make a little barrier that around them. Never gonna happen. That wouldn't make any sense. <sighs> Seriously, game? This feels very pointless. A phone. All expenses have been spared. Hmm. Like, I would need some food, and Even I can't get any food. Depressed. Let's talk to the circle woman. Hello, I'm Cockroach. I see the little beggar. Hmm. And there's nothing here on the stall. And what am I supposed to do? Leave this entire area? Go find some food in a different area? That doesn't make sense. The Look place looked like it had been out of business for a while. Like, nothing here makes sense. I'm just gonna go with the hint. We've already done one hint. If the game is going to, uh, if the game is gonna be this obtuse, uh, the Broken Sword series has been pretty bad about the moon logic and the obtuseness. Uh, that's probably why it's not one of the better known and better received parts uh, games series. Woman won't talk to me unless I catch the cockroach. What should I do? Need to find a way to trap it. Try seeking advice from someone who might be able to offer help. Alright, so maybe we can go talk to Basam here. Do I have enough things to spell Basam? No. Could you help me with a vermin problem, please? Hmm. I'm sorry. Until I kickstart this business, I don't really have time for ancillary projects. I need a brand. A clear message that Seriously? grabs my key demographic by the lapel. So you couldn't skip that puzzle. Economic Excuse me? You know, a name that sounds magical and exotic, that appeals to a yearning they only feel subconsciously. What does that mean? Do you know anything about Vera security over there? Not really. I haven't been here long, but neither have they by the looks of it. Hmm. Why do you say that? Rush setup, new sign, low investment, and no customers except for you. Hmm. I've got some matches. Always good to have. At least the sign's not buzzing anymore. As I said, I know and I do hmm. appreciate it, but now it just spells nonsense. And as it says in all the books, branding is key. If only it spelled out a whole new world, that would send my business sorry. And see, this feels like it should be Aladdin. Well, it's not going to be Jasmine. Hmm. So, hint. About some thought to Sonder conjure thoughts of adventure and treasures from front. What should it spell? Go to the sign and think of what words the seven letters could spell. The name of a boy associated with adventure, treasure, and a genie, perhaps. It's Aladdin, but A-L-A-D-D-I-N. Alright, so maybe I was misspelling it. I knew the, the name Aladdin, but... 
Maybe I, I had it as Aladdin's. Yeah, that must have been it. So I was really, really close. But not close enough for the game to throw me a bone and... And stop me from getting further away. L D D I N. Aha. That seemed like a good name. Hey, Bissam. How about this? I know it's not your name, but Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USPs. Glad you like it. USPs. What is genius, that? George. Let me know if I can do anything for you. So we're down that path already of using hints. Ah, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? So that means we'll now we've now opened the door to using hints like crazy, which is only gonna make this allegedly ten hour game shorter. So what are you selling? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I sell all those things you can't get anywhere else in Paris. Like English biscuits? Turkish delight, French cassettes, Brazilian Betamax videos. <laughs> you can't get French cassettes in Paris. Interesting. Do you happen to know? A we may have to come back to him several times. To be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it. And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why is that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Ooh, we don't want that. You hmm. need to find a container of some sort. Then I think add this. Rich tea. Well, what's that, a cookie? The perfect cockroach biscuit. Dry, dull, unsatisfying, and yet curiously Moorish. I'll give it a try. Hmm. So Glad I get... Help. I get the feeling we might end up coming back to Bassam many, many times to get the one item you need. And if this was a longer game, they may have different spell out puzzles that we have to do to stretch it longer. Thank you for the cookie. Hmm. You are very welcome. That was a weird conversation. He didn't really need to pay a voice actor to to record those lines. You didn't need to pay a writer to write those lines. All right. So, which tea biscuit in I the matchbox? I added box? some bait to the matchbox. <laughs> Even I was finding it hard to resist that little trap. I was never going to catch it with my bare hands. There we go. And now pick it up. Gotcha. You are a gentleman and no mistake. I hate cockroaches. Hmm. Always ready to help a damsel in distress. I bet you are. Can I help you? Yes, please. Do you know hmm. if there's anyone in the office I can talk business with? Yes, me, Cherie. I'm Annette, the manager. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean the gloves. I, I just thought... Ah, easy mistake to make. If you haven't been reconstructed, that is. Oh, but I have been reconstructed a number of times from the ground up. <laughs> so I'm thinking about how in Broken Sword 4 there was this lady who was a um, a minor, minor character, but they spent so much time making her look interesting and as just an animation style. Uh she she was quite memorable for having really no part in the game that they that they gave her I think bright red hair was it it's been a long time since I played Broken Sword 4 yes let's just talk to Annette Annette on the other hand looks like just a normal lady kind of old kind of normal Show her everything we've got. Do these clippers look familiar? 
Yes, I, I mean, no. Why should they look for me? Interesting. God, they're in the first try. Do you recognize it? Oof. That would take the hair off your legs. I had a boss who wore that. Know what I mean? Hmm. It says here that Vera was hired to do the security of the gallery. Didn't do a very good job, did you? Where did you get that? At the gallery. There's been a theft at Le Lizard Bleu. A painting's been stolen. That job was signed off. You can't say we were to blame. I was getting a bad feeling. Hmm. The place looked like a front, and the only person there wasn't helping. Maybe the office itself could give me more information. Are you done? Only I want to listen to this next race. So we're going to have to convince her to... Uh, to leave, so we're going to have to convince her that she won the race, I bet. No thanks. Just a default no thanks. I've got a cookie. Those dry things are disgusting. Hmm. I've got some matches. Yes, I saw you pick them up. Keep them. I can't afford to smoke anymore. So, yeah, I don't even see the point of him pulling things out of his jacket to show him. I wouldn't have questioned it if he didn't do that at all. I caught the cockroach. Look, isn't he a sweetie? Ah! Keep it away from me! <laughs> all right. Thanks. Let's see what the stretch goal is. It's just apparently nothing. So either that was a stretch goal that was never finished the or looked like it had been put together in a hurry. That's kind of the problem though with the concept of kickstart games and stretch goals is that somewhere in to the public is documented parts of games that aren't gonna be finished and I don't think the public the is gonna really like enjoy that. Like, I specifically don't want to know the parts that ended up on the cutting room floor of pieces of art. Because then I would second question, I would second guess why it ended up on the cutting room floor and feel kind of gypped. The place looked very much like temporary accommodation. Hmm. So. Match with lamp? Nope. I needed to try something else. Wire with the radio. That wouldn't have worked. And door. Can I just walk to the door? Please stay on the other side of the counter. Hmm. It was like she had some kind of psychic power. She could just feel what I was trying to do. That's an interesting way of doing it. Do you mind? I'm listening to the race. Annette was watching me like a hawk. Hmm. So, unless I could radio transmit or mess with the radio or something, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? I guess I could show him the, the, I the cockroach. cockroach. Look. Excellent work. Just don't let it loose near my stall. Mm. In a few weeks, this place is going to be buzzing with people, I hope, not vermin. I think I'll keep mm. him. I'll name him Trevor. Interesting name. Old school. Comforting. Harmless. Hmm. I can see you're quite a strategic thinker, George. Hmm. could ask him about the neon sign but otherwise it seems seems everything here is just normal what do you think i'm over the moon george thanks to you i can now sell my retro cavalcade of musical cards brushes souvenirs and you know what they say happy sellers make happy shoppers i really like your new sign it's magnificent i owe you one yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. So, let's leave. I decided to stay till I'd squeezed what I could from Annette. Okay, we can't leave. 
The place looked like it had been out of business for a while. Can I just safety matches on I only this? had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. Can't just burn down the empty shop? That was almost a great idea. Almost. Hmm. So I think we're going to end up Maybe we can start the dead plant on fire. That wasn't worth trying. And we can't do anything with the drawer? Look, do you mind not touching the office equipment? Annette's hmm. peripheral vision was, quite simply, astounding. I only had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. Let's see. The place looked very much like temporary accommodation. Are we supposed to say put this here? I didn't want to leave that there. And are we supposed to do this with I this? I only had a few matches. I didn't want to leave that there. Hmm. I considered firing off a quick squirt. But decided the stale smoke would smell nicer. I guess what I might be able to do is look at the phone. The Vera phone. All expenses have been spared. And then, well, use the phone to call Vera security. Hello, Vera security. We make you secure. Quick look revealed that the drawer was empty. So while she's Please sending the radio, the other side of the counter. The office looked like it had been put together in a hurry. So am I supposed to put this in the drawer? That was almost a great idea. Almost. I don't. I don't get it. I. Don't get what we're supposed that to do was here. Never gonna work. This feels like. All right, so we stand over here. We call him. Call again. We turn off the radio. Hello, and we use a match on the dead plant. Nope. I needed to try something else. Hmm. Match on a stretch goal. That wasn't worth trying. Please stay on the other side of the counter. Hmm. The Vera phone. All expenses have been spared. I needed a better idea. Yeah, I need a better idea. Let's go to hints. And that is distracted by the phone. What now? While she is on the phone, interact with the radio to untune the radio station. Got it. When you need it, it goes to return the thing. Pick up her black book. What black book would that be? Oh! That black book that's right here that I can't see at all. Because it blends completely in with the background. Well, no wonder I couldn't, didn't know what to do. Well, that is another nail in the coffin of a game like this. And it makes very little sense. Like, we've been, we haven't seen her pick up a black book or write in a black book to hint that it even existed there. Uh, and so I would have had to just pixel hunt. I wanted to see what secrets the book might contain. There was a photo. Of course, I grabbed it. Hmm. Let's look at a the photo. A very bad photo of Lane and Annette. That guy sure got around. Hmm. So then are we going to blackmail her? Yes. 
ask about this. Or ask her about gambling. Or ask her about the office door. Recognize this? Hey, that's my photo. That's you with Lane, I believe. So, what if it is? What is he to you? Mm. Oh, my Hector, that's what he is. My little Hector. Yeah, I thought you said you had nothing to do with the gallery. Look, here's how it is. I've only been there a few weeks. I had nothing to do with that gallery job. I just delivered the paperwork. So, who was the manager before you? I don't know. She just, one day, didn't come in for work. I shouldn't be talking to you. The boss told me mm. to keep my mouth shut. So who's the owner? The boss. Have you got his number or address? No, I've forgotten it. I mean, I, I never knew it. <laughs> and that, a serious crime has been committed. You're in a lot of trouble. I had nothing to do with it. Look, I need this job. I need the money. Anyway, it's only a silly old painting. No one got hurt. You know, Henry was m shot. The gallery owner was shot. Badly? Yeah, he's pretty dead. <laughs> oh. This is a murder investigation. Now, who's your boss? I don't know. Honest, he faxes me if he wants anything. He? Who is he? I've never seen him. Never met him. Hmm. That's super fishy. For poor Annette. Thanks. Hmm. You know, it'd be I nice. I'm sure Annette had told me all she was going to. She sounded scared. Interesting. I wanted to ask a couple other questions. So I guess I can't ask about the door. I said, please stay on the other side of the counter. Hmm. Yeah, it would be nice if the old lady who was knitting in front of Nicole's apartment showed up again. She felt like a character that should show up. I was pretty sure Annette had told me all she was going So I can't ask the questions I want to ask, even if they were pointless questions. That's annoying. And stretch goals apparently weren't made. The office looked like it had been put together in a hurry. Hmm. So now what do I do? I guess I would have to go talk to Lane and maybe I could get into Henry's apartment now. Not making a lot of progress here. 11% of the entire game is done. We've seen and interacted with two scenes. Which tells me then, in total, there's 20 scenes. Um, actually, let's be a little bit more fair here. We've interacted with two areas, but in actuality, there was the inside of the art exhibit, the outside of the art exhibit, and the office, which makes three scenes, and there was the outside of various security and the inside of various security, which makes a night two. So we've done five scenes, which puts us closer to 50 very small scenes for the entire game. But I have already, in less than well, in about 10% of gameplay, already had to use the hint book heavily for reasons that I do not feel like were my fault. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.